Good day, hope everyone is well. We are back here in the harbor. I want to make a video of launching a 25 foot boat yourself. So if you're one person, no one can make it and you have no assistance, I'm gonna show you some easy ways I do it. The basics to start with is to put everything ready. Here is one fender, so we want to tie ourselves up on the dock. We don't want to put the fender over yet, otherwise it will interfere with our pole there. Set up the second fender. and keep it in the boat so as we're reversing the boat back it doesn't interfere there we're gonna put up now our ropes there we go keep this one close by easy to grab just let it hang there and that one also easy to grab. We want to go from the front of the boat back to the back of the boat. So we just want to keep this open. And there's some key things I want to show you to make the process much easier. So your preparation is always key. You're gonna pump the motor full of fuel, make sure this ball is nice and hard. You want everything to be, your keys are ready to be fitted, everything to be fitted as it must be. Um, just to make the process seamless. If you have any straps in the back, um, make your straps in the back loose, keep them tightened in the front, keep your motor trimmed up. This you will keep locked as you will normally do, you will not change here in the front anything yet. Reversing, no one can teach you, that is just practice to reverse your boat correctly into the water and get it straight. Um, you want to have your boat and trailer straight, practice will make, make that perfect. Let's get the boat in the water. And then I'll show you some things there, what you need to do. Sub, 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 subscribe! There we go, get it nice and straight. When I say no one can teach you, you can learn the basics of reversing a trailer, but it really, get, you have to get that feel for it to, to get the hang of it. To make things always easier is to get your trailer and your boat as straight as possible when you want to launch down. And then from there you do small adjustments with your steering wheel. But the more you do it, the uh, easier it will get. It's nothing you have to stress about. Um, it's just something that takes practice. And it's best not to practice it at the slip, practice it at home or in a quiet place where you can, you know, just get the feel for your boat and for the trailer. So we just want to go nice and slow and steady backwards. Everything, the engine is trimmed up, bunks is in. So we want to go down until our wheels are under the water. That's best for my trailer and my boat. The trailer wheels to go under water. And then also for the cruiser's wheels just to touch the water. Because the sole jumps up from your wheels to your body. So just get before this bump down here. Because the, the swell is pushing up. And you want to be able to get on your trailer without getting wet. Let's just get a bit up. Without getting wet. That will do it. Make sure you have your handbrake properly parked. And uh, so nothing can move backwards. Let's have a look here. This is fine. So you want to park it so you can easily get on your trailer without your shoes getting wet. So we're just gonna go like this. We're gonna keep it in idle, keep it in park, um, and let us get on the boat. Wait for the water to pull back. There we go. And then from here, you have to loosen your boat. So first do the steel. So on my, on my boat design um, that I've practiced, it will run back a bit. When I loosen this, it will run back a bit, but it won't run all the way. Um, it, will, it will grip on. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so it's running backwards. It's going, but then it stops. Okay. So now the boat is loose from the trailer. Um, now we're gonna get ourselves onto the boat. So it's nice and easy, come here from the front, 
to get onto the boat. Okay, now we are on the boat. We want to trim our engine down, not too low, just nice and down. We start up our motor. If you've got a two-stroke motor like this, it's ideal just to let it idle for, uh, for 10 seconds just to warm it up a bit. So the key here is you don't want to trim your engine too low. You want to keep your trim a bit higher. So when you're reversing down, you don't want to hit you don't want to hit your prop against the, the slipway. Let's see the motor. Okay, that's fine. Now we're just pulling back and reversing out. So you can see the trailer is a bit, it's a bit stuck and then it comes loose. There we go. There we go. We're a bit skewed but now we are off. So we basically just reversed off and now we are off from the trailer and from the boat. Now it's just one person, they are waiting there for me, but I'm just gonna show you how I will do it alone. So after you have tied up your boat, you will just go back into your cruiser. Nice and gentle approach, not too hasty. Now you can throw your fenders down, go one, and then one in the back as you are going forward. One in the back, down. Okay, looks like this is a nice approach. No, you mustn't assist. This is for all those that, that, that do it alone. Okay, let me jump off the boat, you grab it. There we go, you can even put off the engine just to, and then we can tie it up quickly, just grab. Oh, you, no, no assistance. I want to grab the... Yeah, for all those that, you know, have to do it alone. And then you do one side, you secure the front, run to the back, and then secure the back. Okay, cruiser is parked. Ready? On a 4x4 four four spot. Let's get back to the boat. Now we just want to launch it off from the dock and um, we need to do this ourselves. Let's get the motor going. Undo the, the front rope first. Okay, front undone. Can put it just over again. And do the, the back one now for you to get on. See. And then you want to push away in the front, not in the back. Okay, a little push off. And now we just use the motor. So you can just do it this way around. And there we go. All the best guys. I hope it is a bit helpful. If it was, just let me know in the comments. And if there's better advantages or tricks you are using to launch a bigger boat yourself, I'm all ears. All the best. We're going to start our adventure and that will be for the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.